everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Down the New World, and uh, there's clearly a boss coming up, so yeah, let's save. We got a full heal point here, so that's always fun. And uh, yeah, let's kick some ass. Motherfucker. Ah, leech! Say your prayers. Oh, violent toy. <laughs> Should have never gone against me. straight with me. How do you feel about Marta? How do I feel? Well, I guess I don't know, Genius. How do you feel about Persea? Are party relationships off limits? It's not that. Such questions must never be answered plainly. Any response should be vague so as to create intrigue and suspense. Is this not the essence of any good soap opera? Uh, you know, spiteful may be the perfect word for Tenebrae. How do they know what a soap opera is? No, no I'm, I'm serious. Looks like a dead end. I don't see anything that looks like Rosemary. If we can't find any around here, I'm afraid we're out of luck. So I wasted everyone's time. Emil, in archaeology, researchers work by starting with a hypothesis. Then, they make error after error until they start to figure out the truth. Even once they find their answer, it's often not the one they set out looking for. Rain! You said it yourself. You can't pass judgment until you know for sure. And you were right about that. Even with the odds stacked against you, as long as there's a chance you might discover something, you have to pursue it. Rain's right. We all came along because we agreed with you. We came because we wanted to, and not because we had to. Got that? No, you kind of had to. I'm the main character. Thank you. All right, then. Let's get back to it. Yeah, let's keep looking. I've never been much of a quitter. Let's scan this place from top to bottom. I guess you want to die. It's just named him Blood. <laughs> it's pretty... Oh, I'm glad there's no plus after that, otherwise I have to kill him. But no, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll fiddle around with him later. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put him in place of my Hellhound. Let him... Let the dragon level up a little bit. Put somebody else in place of him. Okay, let's see. Uh, how about my Aluren? Why not? Doesn't have any. Nah, he's on the one at the start, I think. Do I have any, uh, manuscripts? No, I do not. Alright, well, he's just he's gonna. I guess he's just gonna have to level up the old fashioned way for now. Alright, there should be a boss here somewhere. Oh, it's up here. Hey! Is that it? That's it. There's no doubt about it. That is Rosemary. However, it appears somewhat withered. Its antidotal effects may be weak in this state. 
It must be the lack of sunlight around here that keeps all the plants from thriving. Sunlight. Oh, come on! You know what? You know, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. You're going down! You know, no, no, genius. I think you need to say, fuck you. Yeah, I think I figured out a fighting style that suits me, but I've still got a lot to learn. I guess once you think you're the best, that's when you stop improving. But you're only going to get stronger. I'm sure of it. You too. Yeah, so let's get to it. Must be because they both hit level 25 or... Sorry, I thought my mic went out there for a second. Must be because they both hit level 25 or something. Something other than the rosemary is getting bigger. Yeah. What should we do? Look out. That's an Amanita, a monster. Uh, I think we knew it was a monster, Taylor Bray. It's over! 
The monster I have, I have in my position with the highest attribute attack. I find it highly, highly ironic that, well, you know, she doesn't have any attack spells. <laughs> yourself. Blood! Whew, that was a close one. The Amanita was absorbing all the nutrients the Rosemary needed. Oh, it looks like the Rosemary is all better now. Great job, Emil. Indeed, this is just what we need. Now we'll be able to save both Berg and Regal. Nice going. Way to tough it out. Thank goodness you're so stubborn. Is that supposed to be a compliment? <sighs> what are you reading, Genus? <laughs> There's lots of strange equations. Well, with all this searching for Lloyd and the Centurions, I've really gotten behind on my studies. You mean you study this stuff on your own time? Why not? It's fun. You should try it. Which reminds me, this little trip must be quite the vacation from school for the two of you. Yes, but if it means saving the world, we can put off school for a while, right? No, I'm afraid that won't do. I am a teacher after all. I'll see to your studies. What? what? I will see to your studies. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah, right. You clearly don't understand the concept of RPGs, Rain. Saving the whole world takes precedence over everything. Except side quests. But that's besides the point.
all knew what the Switch did, so why did it even bother asking us? Neil the Rosemary. Right. That's what happened. Well, thanks for saving my life. So, we were hoping you'd help Regal. Of course. I'll go and explain everything to the prison guard right away. Uh, wait just a second. So, was the fire started by the light? It was caused by this strange frog that gave off an intense heat and bright flashes. It ate up all my seafood gels. Then it was surrounded by this white light and all the surrounding crates burst into flame. Anyway, I'll tell you all about it later. Well, it looks like he made a full recovery. Yeah. Well, let's go see Regal. Good idea. monster tomes I'd use them to get the, the XP of them up a little bit, but I don't, so... You yeah, know... <sighs> What's the matter, Tenebrae? I'm not sure how to put this. What is it? It's just, the monsters you befriended haven't been growing... How should I put it? As monsters, they're still immature. When I see you playing together with them, I'm reminded of a... of a... A daycare center? Exactly! Free. 
I owe you a great debt. Thank you. I'm sorry that I ever doubted you. Let me take off those handcuffs. Wait, huh? What's the matter? I can't find the key. Maybe I dropped it somewhere? Graduated top of your class at guard school, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Clearly you don't know Regal. First of all, he's used to having his hands cuffed together. Uh, second of all... If Lloyd were here, he'd be able to pick the lock in no time. Hopefully I won't get arrested a second time for destruction of property. Second of all, this. The manufacturer of these handcuffs isn't exactly known for their quality craftsmanship. Perhaps you should try the Lazareno Group model next time. I'll send you a free sample. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, but I would like to change my clothes. Would you mind if I went ahead to the inn? You have different clothes? Good idea. What? I never thought I'd see you in a prison uniform again. I'm truly ashamed. I must thank you all again for what you've done. I really do appreciate it. What is it? You want to hear more about the fire? Yes, please. So Regal and I were talking, and suddenly this bright ball of light appeared in front of us. And that was from the light frog? Yeah, a lit up frog. It was really bright, and Regal passed out almost as soon as he saw it. I was wearing sunglasses, so I was okay at first. It started giving off light as soon as it appeared? That's a bit odd. I'm telling you the truth. Then it started to eat my seafood gels, and flames started shooting all over the place. I thought maybe I could put it out somehow, so I swung at it with my hand. But then I felt really weak. You must have touched its poison when you hit the light frog. So... you can get poison just by touching it? Oh man, that's some frog. Eh, there are real frogs like that that exist in real life, so, you know... Not that profound. I had no idea the Nasdrovia poison could be that strong. It's called the Light Frog. Right. Oh, now we're switching things around. Oh, they're just trying to piss off Tenebrae, you know? I believe you mean the Light Frog. Maybe the Nasdrovia strengthened its defenses when Berg struck it, resulting in a stronger poison. Light Frog! All the more reason to be extra careful around all monsters, not just the Nasdrovia. <laughs> Fine. I see how it is. I get it. Tenebrae. Yeah. Revenge is, is cold. Revenge is... Yeah, revenge is revenge, bitch. I didn't know where I was going with that. I was starting to get worried. Regal! Thank you for helping me. Looking snazzy! Yeah! I never imagined we would run into each other again in this manner. Did you come here looking for Lloyd? Wait, you know where Lloyd went? And just who are you? Ah, uh, yes. Things have gotten rather complicated. Why don't we give you the basic rundown? Tenebi, come out, will you? It's Tenebrae. I can't believe Lloyd would keep secrets like that from us. First Ratatosk, then the Centurion's cores. Just like with the summoned spirits and the angels, we seem to be bound by fate to things of this nature. So, um, what about Lloyd? From what I heard from Berg, Lloyd is headed for Flanor. Apparently, it was very recent. Rain! We might be able to catch up with him after all. If I may be so bold, I too am concerned about Lloyd. Would it be too much to ask that I accompany you on your journey? I'm sure Rain and I wouldn't mind. What about Marta and Emil? I'm fine with that. We probably won't be of much help, but if you're okay with that, what about you, Tenebrae? I will follow whatever course you and Lady Marta choose. Thank you. On the name of my eternal beloved, I swear that I shall not betray you. Oh, when he swears upon that, well... <laughs> well then, shall we depart? I... I'm not gonna say anything, because, you know... What is it, Emil? No, it's nothing. Oh, yeah! Oh,
people, I think I'm gonna end things off here, but uh, tune in next time when more stuff will happen. Whatnot. Peace out, y'all.